pushed my hair. Great slip, great slip. I didn't detangle my hair at all. I just went in the shower. I didn't even wash it in sections. I just washed it and I was done. And I kind of assumed it did. I mean, this is a company that caters um, to our thick curly hair. I expected it to have slip. I'm able to remove my shed hair. It's just sliding out. This is how my hair is looking. Um, yeah. Okay, I feel like my hair drank it up very fast so I applied a little more feels pretty good my fingers are just going through it like okay so this is I'm just not even scared I'm just no snags nothing all right I'm a fan porosity hair. I feel like I mentioned this in every video and um, some people might be like so but knowing the porosity of your hair will help you um, when it comes to your hair maintenance and hair care. Our deal is we have to retain moisture right and when you have high porosity hair it's kind of difficult to retain moisture whereas with low porosity hair it's kind of difficult to I guess receive the moisture for the strands. And once you know that, then you know exactly what processes you need to do to make sure that, you know, you get optimum moisture in your hair strands. So it's not just people talking, trying to give all these little terms of natural hair and try to sound all intelligent and like you know a lot, but it does help. It does help. Because if you have low porosity hair, sometimes it's not enough to just go ahead and slap on a deep conditioner and just go about your day. You're going to need to add a little extra heat to open up those cuticles. Um, when you have high porosity hair, yeah, it absorbs all of that really fast, which is great. Your hair is drinking it all up, eating it all up. But the moment it starts drying, all of that is leaving with the evaporation of your water, of the moisture. Everything is going. So you want to try to make sure you trap that in as soon as possible. As soon as you get out the shower. Like for me, as soon as I get out the shower, as soon as I do my final rinse, I add an oil to try to trap in as much moisture as I can before I even start styling or anything like that. The number of sections you do when you're detangling, it kind of almost gives you an idea of how good of a detangler that product is. Because if it's hard for you to deta detangle with a product, then you're gonna work in smaller sections. But if it's so easy to break through your hair, you, working in larger sections is super easy. So that's pretty good. This, it has great slip. pretty good it feels healthy yeah my hair feels pretty nourished right now so of course I'm gonna know for sure once I wash it out but I did want to show you guys how it looked um, after 15 minutes I kept it in for 15 minutes now the instructions on this say leave on for one to two minutes um, but then when I read reviews it also confused me because people were talking about they left it in overnight and stuff like that. So I was like, so what am I supposed to do? The instructions strictly say, leave on one to two minutes and can be placed under dryer for maximum benefits. Rinse thoroughly and proceed with styling. Okay, so I left it on for 15 minutes because you know, I'm a rebel. <laughs> I literally just came from the shower and this is my hair. All right. I 
apply my oil just to let you guys know how my hair feels now I did mention that this is a protein treatment so I'm I was wondering if I had to use a moisturizing deep conditioner afterwards my hair does not feel like I need to it doesn't feel it feels it definitely feels strengthened it feels like my hair is strong it's not weak it's not gonna break and all of that so it doesn't feel as good as it would feel had I used a moisturizing um, deep conditioner of course and I, I did explain the differences between a protein and a moisture deep conditioner slash mask okay that video will be linked down below but then just to let you guys know this does feel pretty good my hair does feel strengthened it does feel nourished it feels it feels good it feels like healthy hair this is their deep V conditioner and it's supposed to restore moisture, strengthen, defrizz, reduce breakage and improve the results of keratin treatments. Now just so you know, this is not a keratin treatment. It does have keratin in it. It is infused with keratin, but it's not a keratin treatment. So yeah, Treasured Locks is a company that wanted to make sure that they provide quality products, you know, a selection of quality products to a demographic that's normally overlooked and that's us, okay. They are black owned. They are like us. All right, it is a black owned company. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye.